Today we're going to take a look at the Traxxas Latrax Teton 118th scale ready to run truck. Basically the point of this video is to figure out if the Latrax Teton 118th scale truck is good for a four year old or five year old. Or six year old. Um, and then we'll get on if it's good for a six or seven year old because Renan just turned seven. Dad. So he'll test it out too and we'll get a good idea on what the age capabilities are. So if you're like me, you want your kids to have something that's capable and something that everybody could use and we can all have fun racing each other with. Obviously, if we set him out there with one of the new Bright toys, he's not going to be able to Win. do too much of anything against the Traxxas Slash. But we want him to learn on something that's fun and can go over the jumps and has enough battery life and power uh, and also the same remotes as the Slashes. So he'll get used to this and then graduate up to the Slash probably when he's six years old or so. Or so seven. With that, um, let's go over the truck really quick. There's no need to do an unboxing because there's a lot of really good unboxing videos on YouTube, which I looked at. But essentially, it comes in a nice little box, much like you would see at a toy store or a retail store. Kind of what like these things come in. And when you unbox it, you're not getting a lot of parts and pieces. You're getting the remote, and you're getting the charger. And the truck. And then the truck, and inside the truck, what's inside the truck? Batteries. The battery, right. So with that, let's uh, take the body off and we're going to kind of do this from the kids' perspective. We're going to let the kids do the work and it'll show you whether or not the kids can handle um, a real RC toy or not. Alright, so looks like you're ready to take this body off. So hold on, let's, let's get a closer look. Okay, so first things first, this is an RC car. It's a real RC car with the Lexan body and it's held in by pins. So these are usually a challenge point for kids. So four years old, let's see if you can take these pins off. I'll give you a hint. Sometimes it's easier to push with one finger and pull with the other finger. No. So push with one finger and pull with the other. There you go. Okay, so now we got the pins off. Can you take the body off? Good. All right. So. Do you guys know where the battery is in here? Yep. And this here. Nope, it's actually on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So mm -hmm. to get the battery out, we undo another pin. No, and then it has a little flap here. And everything's packaged pretty tightly. So it's kind of tough to get out. No, you just. So, oh yeah, you're right. Take that flap off. Okay, so here's the battery. It's a smaller size, 7.2 volt, nickel metal hydride. And hold on. All right, so the seven-year-old can get the battery out. So let's see, can the four-year-old get the battery in? Can you plug this in? Can you do that? You see how it's pinned? It can only go in one way. Let's see if you can get it in. But sometimes the guy told us at the RC shop that if you, if you keep that plugged, in it will actually waste the battery. That's a good point, Ryan. If you keep it plugged in, it could waste it could drain the battery. Alright, so you got it, but let's see. It doesn't look like it's all the way seated. So let's see if it can go in all the way. See? You have to push and twist. So it's a little hard going in, but you did good. So Renan, being seven now, just turned seven, can you take the plug off and put it back in all the way? No. It's a little hard, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to kind of twist and pull at the same time. Let's see how far you can plug it in. Can you plug it in? Okay, let's see how far you got it. Yep, you were almost there. There's like an eighth of an inch left. Okay, so the four-year-old test with being able to remove and reinstall a battery was um, a little bit tough for the four-year-old and even a little bit tough for the yeah. seven-year-old. However, you do this on your tracks as slash. So this, um, the tight confines on here might be a little bit tougher than the bigger 110 scale trucks. So let's put the body back on. 
And while they're doing that, I'll explain the truck a little bit. So the all wheel drive platform is something that attracted me to this truck because when you learn how to drive an RC truck, uh, traction is, is really hard to obtain sometimes. The Traxxas slash two wheel drives we have, they get really loose and they drift around a lot. So little kids basically are on the gas all the time. So it's, it's gonna be a fight for traction if you don't have all wheel drive. The other thing, and this is with all Traxxas ready to runs, is that they have a training mode on the speed control. So what that means is you can set the speed control up in training mode, which is a 50% um, setting. So you can only give them 50% of the available power. That was critical because this little guy is pretty quick if you leave it on full speed. And with half speed, it's just about right for Callan. So also, real quick, um, the specs are what they are, and you can see those on the Traxxas website, but there's really good suspension travel here. There's a really solid front bumper. These front A-arms are pretty stout. The components look really strong, and you'll see why that'll be important if you hand an RC car over to a four-year-old, because there's a lot of crashing. Right, you guys? Yep. They do a lot of crashing. So the charger is super simple with these as opposed to the other Traxxas trucks like the Slash that we have. And simple by way of just plugging it in and plugging it into the battery and it does the rest. And it shows you the status lights. We noticed that it took a couple hours for this battery to charge all the way. So that's a little bit different in comparison to the Traxxas Slash nickel metal hydride batteries that take only about 20 to 30 minutes it, it seems. So. Um, a second battery pack might be handy to have in these. However, uh, we noticed that the battery lasted a really long time in this truck. So we'll see how long that lasts. But for a four-year-old that's just learning, I think it's going to last uh, enough time to where you probably wouldn't need that battery pack, the second battery pack. Yeah. But it's pretty cool looking too, isn't it? I like the body. It's almost like a Bronco, like a new Bronco. So the radios are the same as the Traxxas slashes, but it says Latrax on it. We put numbers on them so we know whose remote is whose, right Cal? Mm -hmm. And then this is just the basic steering wheel type. It does have a reverse on it, which is absolutely necessary. The only thing that I would caution to watch out for, if you have a little one driving, is the steering trim is very easy to adjust. They might grab this knob or hit it accidentally and then the car it adjusts the steering servo and then the car will pull to one side or the other. So we'll show you how to adjust that when we get out to the track. You ready to go out and show us how this does on the track? Mm-hmm. All right. So one of the challenges that you'll find if the user, no, you can leave it. You can leave the body on, is turning these on. Probably not gonna be the easiest thing to do for the little guys or girls. So you just kind of reach in here and give it a little tap on the speed control. Lights up red. Okay, and can you show us how to turn on the remote? I know you know how to turn on the remote. Good, okay, so bring it straight towards us. Going through some pretty deep grass there. Bring it back to us, okay. Hold on, I think you might have the steering not right. So this is this is a good thing to show everybody. Okay, I'm not holding the wheel at all and it's veering to the vehicle's left. So what we need to do is adjust the steering trim to the left or right so it tracks towards you straight. So a little bit more. So this is basically like sending the alignment. Okay, that's better. Why don't you climb over this log over here? Can you do that? Nice job. So when you put your mind to it, you can do it. You just have to take it easy. Full throttle driving is a little hard, but crawling and, and slower driving seems to be definitely something that's 
easy for them to do. So, you backing up over it? Back it up, oh. oh, good job. All right, so my, um, my analysis and conclusion on it is for a four-year-old, it might be a little advanced. You might want to stick with some of the store-bought stuff like we showed you for the driveway and everything. But if you have a little guy that can pick up stuff rather quickly and you have the ability to make a track in the backyard and your older brother has one and your dad has one, then they can definitely get the hang of it. So um, that's up to you. I'd say it's possible, but they're going to find it maybe a little bit difficult at first. They're definitely going to need some practice with it. Something they can grow into, uh, absolutely, though. All right, so I want to see if Renan can do it. Can you give it to Renan? Let him try? All right, so we know the Teton is a little bit advanced, maybe for the four-year-old. So now we have the seven-year-old trying it. It's on full speed, and it's like seriously indestructible for one. So this thing is a blast to drive, is for, for an adult at least. So I had fun with it, we'll show you that. Um, so my review of the Teton for a grown up is, uh, this is like a must have if you just want a little bomber truck to just have fun with in the yard, make some big jumps or take off the skateboard ramp. And one thing I found out is that it's really nose heavy. So kind of like a dirt bike, you just uh, keep on the gas to keep it level in the air. Perfect. So now the seven-year-old is trying it, Renan. So we'll kind of do, is it right for a seven-year-old? And I could tell you right now that it is very much so right for a seven-year-old because this is what they like to do, is just bomb stuff and flip. And this thing has taken probably about a dozen rolls. You got some donuts going on right now. All-wheel drive donuts are always the best. So going around our little track here, it's handling very well. Take a high speed run around our track. Let's see how you can do. All right, so he's used to his slash two wheel drive. So this, oh, it's hard to keep, it's kind of hard to keep going around the track because it's got such a sharp turning radius that it's, um, oh, landing on his feet. It, it turns really sharp, so keeping speed around the track is a little tough. But it's it's so much fun that it doesn't really matter because you could just launch off of jumps like that. And it just handles everything you throw at it. So for a seven-year-old, absolutely the uh, Latrax Teton is where it's at. I'd say for an adult too. If you're just looking to get your kid into RC, this is a perfect little intro vehicle for like 130 to 150 bucks to see where they want to end up. If they uh, want to end up doing some more serious stuff, you go with the Trax Slash, and uh, you still have a really fun little truck for the whole family to play with. Looks like you got a hitchhiker there. Oh, nice. So I'd say it's applicable age range is four years old. A four-year-old can definitely do it. They're gonna find a little trouble uh, on the tightness of the steering, I think. It's going to turn really sharp for them. They're not used to the fine motor skills of keeping the turn consistent. Yeah, it was a good clear. Yeah, because you just have to come around the outside. Yeah. With the track system. So the all-wheel drive aspect of it will make it easy to use for inexperienced drivers or brand new drivers. And the um, fine motor skill stuff is important. So you got to have a really light touch on the steering to get it to go where you want it to go around the track or else it's kind of out of control, which is the style of this truck in my opinion. It's, it's pretty wild, so a lot of fun. So that's it for the test of the little Latrax Teton. This thing's a little beast. It's a lot of fun. The kids loved it. Uh, the four year old, it, it was a little bit advanced for like I told you. Uh, five or six might be grasping it a little bit better. Seven-year-old can have a lot of fun with it. Eight-year-olds and up, everybody's going to have fun. So pretty much, it's a great little truck to get you into the game and great little truck if you just want to have some fun. And it's uh, really cool to launch off of jumps and watch it roll and flip and just get back on its feet and keep going. So battery lasted a really long time too. And um, it's pretty easily accessible. The pins are a little small for big hands and little hands too. So that's about the only thing I, I see that 
is a uh, downside to it. But other than that, in training mode, it's uh, great for an uh, inexperienced driver. In full speed mode, it's a lot of fun for an experienced driver. It's got great suspension travel, launches off of jumps great, has a really sharp turning radius, so it's uh, at full speed on the dirt. It could get a little twitchy if you're not fine with your steering control, but uh, it's, a, it's a good time. So I recommend it for kids, for sure. Uh, first timers, if they want to get into a more professional grade um, car instead of like a retail grade car like you'd get at Walmart or Target like we showed earlier. It's something more or less if you want to get more in-depth into the RC hobby instead of just buying stuff for your kids that'll eat up AA, AAA batteries after two hours. So um, it's a good purchase at 125 or 136 I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was well worth it because the kids can grow into it and I can also hand it to friends that come over that want to race on the track with us with the slashes. It'll keep up with the slashes if you have a good driver. So with that, I say it's a good buy. It's perfect for kids, perfect for adults. What more could you really want out of an RC truck? So that's it. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos on my channel about the slash and then check out the videos for Renan on his channel, Ren Racer. Woo!